up? It's Eric. I'm out here with the Team Corrali Asuga. Uh, this is something new for me. First of all, big shout out and thank you to Team Corrali for giving me the opportunity to run this truck. Uh, give it a nice blast. See what it'll really take. Uh, this is one sweet looking buggy. I mean, it's almost uh, a mix between a buggy and a truggy. It's kind of hard to uh, explain. Um, it's kind of a, I'd say a one seventh scale buggy, uh, but I mean, it's just really cool looking. I mean, this amazing, amazing craftsmanship by Team Corrali. Uh, the body on this thing looks really beautiful. They've got red, blue, and green you can choose from. Uh, just some really beefy parts. I really love these tires. These things got a nice uh, nice feel to them. They're, they're kind of stiff, which would be good for that way they don't balloon that bad. So you can run some bigger pinions, bigger power, and the wheels and the tires ought to stay on the rims. But um, we're just gonna have to give it a nice little test. I did go ahead and uh, jump up to a 16 tooth pinion from the stock 13 that comes with it. Uh, Cause I did watch a few videos and it is, um, it's fast, but I just want to out of the gate, give this thing a nice little test. So pretty excited to check it out. But first we're gonna pop the lid on it. As you can see in here, she's all bone stock. Haven't done anything to it other than just go to a 16 tooth pinion. Bracing on this thing looks amazing. It's got the front and rear chassis braces. They are plastic, but then it's got a metal brace uh, for a center brace that goes up and over the center diff right here and then locks in. It does have this Kieron 825 Team Corrali Motors 2050 KV with 150 amp ESC. It's got some really nice bracing on this rear wing mount right here. It looks really tough. Uh, the drive cups on this thing look amazing. It's really nice hardened steel. Uh, Team Corrali has really come a long way, in my opinion, especially in the bashing market with some really nice rigs. And um, I'm all about truggies and buggies, and this thing just looks like it's going to fly. So I really can't wait to give it a test. Take a quick look at the chassis right here. Some nice uh, etch work on there. Team Corrali engineered to be the fastest and uh, push your limits. So we'll definitely be, be pushing its limits. It's got a nice front bumper right there with a skid plate. Also, same thing in the back right here, which is good because it'll help some butt landings help uh, brace that back end and also help maybe save your wing mount too because you got something to uh, to cushion it back there. Got some super beefy pillow ball style hubs up here in the front. On this body, other than it looking really cool, it does have these uh, nice little washer pieces right here that are screwed into the body right there to kind of keep your body from snapping right there where the body posts are. So that's a really nice design by Team Crowley. Of course, you got your little tethered clips right there. All right, guys, we're gonna give this baby a quick shakedown run. Again, all stock, 16 tooth pinion. Uh, really impressed with this thing overall. Again, big shout out to Team Corrali. And now uh, let's see what she'll do. Wow, this thing's fast. <laughs> ah, handle's nice too. Pretty impressed so far with the handling. Out here doing a street test. Of course, guys, I'll have to check the temps in a minute running this uh, 16 tooth pinion. But really impressed with the speed of this thing. Oh. <laughs> Guys, this tire is grip really well. Guys, let's check the temps real quick. Been going pretty much full throttle on this thing. And she feels pretty warm. <laughs> it looks like I got 214 on the motor. That's getting pretty steamy. But again, I mean I'm just been I've just been pegging this thing. Got 126 on the ESC. 
that's not terrible terrible but it's definitely warm but i mean a uh, 16 tooth pinion definitely want to check your temps but man the fun factor this thing is so fast all right guys i'm gonna gps this thing real quick just see how fast it is with that 16 tooth pinion this thing has some serious fun factor too it's super fast handles really nice so i threw my gps in it let's see what she'll do it's kind of a quick little pass here going downhill but at least give me a good idea stop read 65 miles an hour if you can see that that's some uh, seriously good bashing speeds hey guys as you all know i love a good driver's car this thing is definitely that handle is really nice you can hold the power down without it uh, just wheeling up and getting out of control <laughs> I just got a shower in dirt too. guys let's give her a first jump full throttle wow oh <laughs> that got a little bit sketchy i couldn't decide if i wanted to do a front flip or what but we got her corrected right at the end man she flew nice oh yeah let's try it again close guys this thing's a maniac oh god it was a hard slap uh-oh <laughs> looks like we got a breakage or something come on done oh that ain't good it landed flat too pretty sure but Somehow the uh, front upper arms broke, <laughs> clean off the hinge pins up there. Man, I'm not sure if that was a fluke or something, but wow, that sucker hit hard though. That was a super, uh, super rough landing. It was flat, but it, it took a took a hammering. We'll have to investigate that real quick. All right, guys, got it fixed back up. I just ran the upper hinge pins back through there again. Not sure how that happened. If the arms over flexed upwards and it just pulled them straight through, but we'll see if she'll take another jump. Looks like it took it. Right, guys that's gonna be it for the maiden run on this thing i just wanted to get a quick shakedown on it and see what she'll uh, handle bone stock uh, overall it did hold up really good it handles really nice i'm really impressed i really love uh, buggies and truggies and this is like a perfect mixture in my opinion um, it's a nice driver's car uh, the tires on it are still straight it did take some pretty hard tumbles uh, the wing mount still good uh, the only thing that broke of course is these upper arms up here not sure how that happened but i was able to slide those hinge pins back through and it held up for a few more jumps and i uh, kept on going so that's uh that's crazy at least i was able to finish the bash the chassis on it is a little bit a little bit tweaked right there towards the back it does have a little bit of a bow to it but again this is just a stock stamp chassis team corelli does offer some nice 7075 option upgrades so i may get a chassis for this or also m2c racing will be making some parts for this eventually 
Uh, so that's gonna be really exciting. But overall, guys, this thing is uh, is a beast. It's a big, big uh, shout out to Team Corrali. All right, guys, can't wait to get this thing out again. Uh, until next time, RC Dude 81. Peace out. Thank you.